Hey, I'm Kurt Allman and we're here in Ridgefield, Washington and uh, this is the Alan Sherman Collection. This is one of our first work days here, so we've got a crew here. We're going to kind of take you on a first-hand tour through the building so you know you know what we feel like whenever we walk through a building and, and find all these treasures. Let's go through and through his shop. This was Alan's shop and uh, he did a tremendous amount of work in here. He was a really super talented guy that was known all over the country for things that he could do that other people couldn't do. Uh, he was a real craftsman. Uh, he had been involved in it through his dad and actually his grandfather and uncles. Uh, so it's kind of been in his blood the entire time. And you can just see from the inside of his shop, uh, he just liked great stuff. And he had a, he had a great eye. I mean, even, even just the signs that decorate his shop and the cans and, and the tools, and uh, it's just got that great shop feel and that great shop smell. And you, some of you know what I'm talking about. Let's go into his uh, storage area here. So I don't know who wouldn't want to have a place like this. You know, he had this actually set up uh, kind of like a little dealership. He's got parts counters back here. And there's everything, uh, an American Bosch Magneto display. There's brass carburetors from, from small to as big as a soup bowl. Uh, magnetos, uh, you can see the magnetos lined up on the walls. And, and, and it's just all great, hard to find stuff. Uh, here's, here's a mag tester behind me. Uh, let's let's go back. I'll kind of take you in through the parts uh, just a little bit. And Alan liked all kinds of things, all kinds of mechanical things. So you can see the Whizzer motorbike motors lined up along the top. <clears throat> this was all a lot of this was user parts, um, you know. But whenever you whenever you're going through here, you find all kinds of great brass carbs, um, parts of absolutely all kind. Uh, that is an entire box of brass hose clamps. <laughs> that, this would be this would be a great Christmas for me right here. Pistons. There's a lot of Model A and Model T things. So we still don't know what all we find here as as we go through. There's uh, there's a lot of great parts back into the parts bins. You know you're gonna open drawers. There's an entire drawer of brass whistles. You, you just you just don't know what you're gonna find and we, we don't yet either actually here's an here's an entire shelf full of buzz boxes magnetos who wouldn't want to have a shelf full of priming cups in their workshop as you go out you know he has he has a lot of great little technological things. You know, Governors, this is a cutaway Marsh steam pump, a great Lukenheimer oiler, dis oiler display. You've got swing tops. And, uh, as you can see, we've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, we've actually cleaned out a few paths in here, but you can see the engines and the compressors and the pumps and the, the little bitty Governor. <laughs> that uh, uh, There's just things everywhere. Let's, uh, let's kind of weave our way back around through the shop here a little bit. Uh, watch your step. You know, even, even as we walk by, this is a great uh, hot air engine. Uh, I'd just like for you to notice the size of that steam whistle. Uh, you know, it's one of, the, one of the larger ones you'll see. And you can even see up on the shelves there's actually a, a Model A up on the shelf a little further back that you can't see. Locomotive lights, uh, settling lights. Uh, there's some great uh, steam engine and gas tractor lights. Uh, how often do you see a World War II era drone? Engines galore, seats, technology items. Hey, here, here's a here's a great page uh, cream separator with the engine on it. This is a cool room here. This is kind of technology corner. 
Let's see, you've got super early Dynamos, Emersons, Edisons. Here's a, here's a fantastic piece right here. This is an early Edison fan, bipolar fan with brass blades, belt driven tachometer, just some great, great early technological items. Here's, here's a really, really large uh, uh, General Electric unit. Uh, Smith motor wheel. Yeah, Alan has actually got several Smith motor wheels. Uh, some of them on cars. Uh, some of them, some of them by themselves. I'll, we'll take you to another shed and show you one that's installed on a Red Bug car. Here, look at all the KW high bar magnetos. We'll go into his office here. And there's a lot of great hot air fans, uh, water driven fans. You know, just when you're walking through, you know, you find great little stuff like a, like an advanced Rumley paperweight. These are some of his items that he had behind the desk. Here's, uh, you know, the cabinets are full. Uh, there's a great uh, steampunk uh, Ansonia clock. There's a great collection of uh, early steam engine models. Here's even a boat with a steam engine model steam engine in it then as you wheel around you know there's signs and great oil cans uh, spark plug there's a spark plug collection and this is just one building this is just the first building uh, so there's numerous buildings full of tractors and cars and engines and and great parts and uh, we'll we'll show you a lot more Find thousands of items selling on the Sherman Iron Ranch collection at almondvintagepower.com.